Hello Winnegate fans! After a fantastic last week of February, March starts off as the calm before the storm, but as always, that just means more space for indie games to stand out. So let's start the video with Builders of Egypt Prologue. This free demo of a beautiful city building game set in ancient Egypt is certainly one to check out since it looks absolutely beautiful, seems to have interesting systems, and of course, me being a fan of Sierra's Pharaoh, have been waiting for a game like this. I've been noticing a trend of the return of the demo, especially with indie games and their free prologues, which is a welcome addition since more people are able to get hands on. Not much more to say, but one for city building fans. We are under attack. I'll have to admit, what drew me to Amoeba Battle microscopic RTS action, of course, are the visuals. This is a unit-focused, simplified RTS where your single-cell organism has to feed, multiply and evolve in order to become the most dominant species. The cells can be carnivores, herbivores or omnivores with special traits that can be evolved as well such as stealth for hunters so there seems to be some depth as well. The absence of base building elements makes this unlike classic RTS games but at the same time might make it a little bit more welcoming to new players. On top of the single player campaign, there's also a cross platform battle royale mode with 18 players, which seems pretty obvious in this day and age, but who knows, it may just spark something for the RTS genre. Indie game developers really have taken classic games like Arkanoid, Kicks, and more and simply ran with the idea, putting their own spin on this and making it their own. And the latest one to do so is Hypergalactic Psychic Table Tennis 3000 by Blue Wizard Digital, creators of Space Tyrant and Slayaway Camp. If you can't already tell, this is very Pong like in nature, but somehow the mad lads managed to convince Commander Shepard to voice this with stats, leveling, abilities and equipment for your pedal. There's the option to romance the pedals with different types of enemy pedals as well, so thoroughly weird but emblematic of the strange and wonderful world of indie games. Powerful magic. Fireball. Wear undies on your head. Ride majestic beasts. Full voiceover by Mark Mir. Conversate with enemy paddles. Learn their weaknesses and secret thoughts. Then, romance them. Oh, yeah. Become a hypergalactic psychic table tennis champion. Fireball. Sympathy. Heal. Hypergalactic psychic table tennis 3000. See that murder's never far away. But 
Murder by Numbers is a fantastic looking visual novel where you play as an actress whose boss was found dead minutes after firing her, resulting in a real life murder mystery. Team up with robots and set out to clear your name. Again, Visual novels are usually not my thing, but the main mechanic here seems to be cross puzzles, which are something that I absolutely love. This draws inspirations from games like Phoenix Wright, Ghost Trick, and Beautiful Joe, with character designs from the creator of Heartful Boyfriend, so some great source materials and it looks fantastic. I've already covered this a couple of times, but the early access release of Curse of the Dead Gods is finally here, which is an action roguelite that looks fantastic, requiring you to delve into an accursed temple. For more on the overview, I'll hand you over to the developer. I'll lead to this accursed temple, a seemingly infinite labyrinth of bottomless pits, deadly traps, and evil guardians. For even a chance at surviving, you'll need to explore the darkest depths, hone your combat skills, and even sacrifice your humanity. Combat styles are varied, dynamic, and tactical. Make use of a wide variety of weapons, each with their own unique moves, attack speeds, ranges, and advantages. Many have special attributes, providing various passive and active bonuses. Poison your enemies, set them on fire, or trigger a flurry of critical strikes. Manage your stamina use and pace your attacks, dodges, and parries. Well-timed blocks are risky, but allow you to offset damage and decrease enemy defenses before unleashing a devastating counter. The environment and traps can also be used to your advantage. Trigger hidden spikes with careful timing to decimate entire groups of foes, or light braziers to reveal the darkness and weaken monsters. You can improve your odds of survival through various means. After overcoming a room, you can steer destiny and influence what might lie ahead. Improve your arsenal, gather treasure, and uncover new secrets. Offer gold or sacrifice your own blood at the temple's altars in exchange for mighty relics. Select well, as your choices can make for powerful synergies between your character build, weapons, and even curses. Over the course of many runs, successful or otherwise, collect skulls from your enemies to unlock persistent blessings. As you explore the temple, you'll suffer from the corruption of the God of Death. Your corruption level will inevitably build up by enduring certain attacks, or willingly offering your blood to altars for more power and healing. This corruption inflicts various potential curses with unique properties. Each curse is a game changer, forcing you to rethink your approach to exploration and combat. Exploding enemy corpses mean another obstacle in battle, but can be used to unleash devastating chain reactions. Relentless traps make exploration harder, but you'll have an easier time impaling enemies on their spikes. Adapt effectively, and you may find blessings in disguise. Slaying the champions of the temple through epic boss fights heal you from the effects of a single curse, slowing down the corruption spread and giving you a brief respite before your slow and inescapable death. Death is likely, but it doesn't mean the end. Return to life, unlock blessings, and delve deeper inside the temple. Each run is different and has more surprises in store. Through the months to come, we look forward to introducing you to many more features and improvements based on your feedback. Curse of the Dead Gods is a modular game with a great amount of replayability, and we believe that early access will help us make the most of it. No matter what you face, go deeper into the temple in Curse of the Dead Gods, releasing March 3rd in early access on Steam. Just a quick note, if you are new here and enjoyed the video so far, be sure to subscribe and check out the Discord channel while you are at it. 
Here's to more indie gaming coverage, so back to the video. If you love exploration and beautiful looking adventure games, then pick up Weakless this week. This has you controlling two weaflings, carefree wooden creatures, one of which is deaf and the other which is blind, and they must work together to solve puzzles and to save their home from the rot. While not exactly representative of this ability, this dynamic duo certainly gives me some vibes of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons with some impressive visuals in this lush, organic environment. Love me a good puzzle game, and this looks to fit into that space quite nicely. One of the more interesting titles that I have read about is The Longing, where you play as a lonely shade, the last servant of an underground king. The king's powers have waned and he falls asleep for 400 days and it is up to you to decide what to do with your time. This mixes a traditional point and click adventure game with an idle game since the 400 day timer automatically begins when you first start up the game and you could literally do nothing and come back 400 days later to see the ending. However, if you choose not to, you can explore the underground caves to collect items for your living room, sit down and literally read entire books of classic literature or even venture to the outer regions of the cave, disobeying the king's orders. Quite a curiosity in game design and something that other developers can learn from. There are certain game ideas that seem so obvious in hindsight, but Broomstick League is basically Quidditch from the Harry Potter universe. However, the rules are different enough for them to avoid any copyright issues, with this being a more straightforward, football-like experience. However, aerodynamics factor into physics, where maneuvers like dive bombing allows you to pick up speed and there are even spells in play that allow you to knock the ball loose or to reposition yourself using a blink teleport. Looks fast and frantic like any good sports game, so hopefully it takes off. Star is another adorable puzzle game featuring parallel dimensions and two characters. It looks simple but super cute and hopefully the puzzles will be good enough. The no-brainer title for me this week is Yes, Your Grace, from a small 5-person UK developer, Brave at Night, and their publisher, No More Robots. This is a pixel art management title that has you playing as King, 
where you must decide on which concern of your townspeople to address while helping your family with their personal issues and protecting the kingdom from war as well. There are supernatural elements inspired by Slavic mythology, so monsters and arcane magic are concerns, which is where the witches come in. Looks great visually with an in-depth management system, taking the number one spot. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Check out the recommended playlist or the best pick for you and I will see you after the jump.